I got no Yeezys for my camera. Let's go. I'm outside touching grass. Do I not give a fuck? Let me show you right now for you give it up. Now, you might be wondering, why am I outside? Is it really just for this intro joke? Um, yeah, actually, today, in volume three of the sister series, where I've spoken about Keep Up With The Kardashians and The Good Place, basically shit that I watch with my sister. Today, we are going to talk about Barbie movies. And I cannot talk about Barbie movies with my sister around. Hence, we are upstairs. So this is a super massive franchise which has a lot of different movies, which all of which I have not watched. So it's not, this is not an invitation to watch those movies. Do not bully me into watching. So if your favorite Barbie movie isn't in this video, do not mention it in the comments section because my sister immediately will want to watch it and I will defenestrate. With that being said, Barbie movies are fucking incredible, but for the absolute worst reasons. Everything from the story to the voice acting is just the most scuffed children's media could ever get. Generally, the story is just, I'm going to go do this obscenely difficult task with zero experience and which is way above my pay grade. Get my ass absolutely destroyed and somehow win in the end because I learned and I'm special and I'm... I don't know, Barbie, which is basically every underdog or snowflakey story possible ever. But the catch is, it's set in an underwater world with mermaids. Or, this is where they get extra creative, guys. It's set in a hidden fairy utopia with magic. Oh, wait, 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 wait. watch this one, watch this one. It's in a medieval kingdom which is in recession and is being usurped by the queen's own court whose leader is trying to kill the daughter of the queen so that he can s slide into the queen's DMs while she's grieving for her daughter. Or it's set in the high school with the mean girl. Now each of the Barbie movies have their own respective worlds, their art styles, but the general plot is what connects all of them together. Now. The main reason these movies actually exist is to teach these kids, it is primarily kids media, so it is to teach these kids a moral or to empower them with some message or something. Except it doesn't do that at all. <laughs> so that was the thing that happened. Hi! My sister is here. Hello, everybody. Um, she. This is a flawless transition. Yeah. Um, th I wanted to record here because the, the upstairs was was difficult. I heard him talking some shit about Barbie, and I decided to bring my expert opinion into it because he's performing stunts that he's just not qualified for. Yeah, that. Um. Um. Yeah. Um. Do you want to untie me, maybe? I'm good. Are you sure? Like, um, where the fuck did you get rope from? Uh... Take Princess and the Popper, a classic Barbie movie for which I even have the merch, as some of you have pointed out. Thank you very much. Are you talking about my bedsheet? Yeah, your bedsheet. It was in the the top albums <laughs> video <laughs> yeah. wait why are you getting clapped for my bed sheet i am the true fan here hey, it's my room okay it's my bed sheet two thousand years later it's my room <laughs> Hmm? what do i do though the movie's main purpose is to highlight the class divide between the aforementioned princess and popper by making them super similar but then this happens well well, if I want some eggs, I ring the bell and the maid comes running in and she serves them on a silver tray and she brings a cookie tin and while I eat, she rubs my feet and strolly minstrels play but I'd rather be in my library reading science books all day I'm just 
like you. That's your takeaway from that. She literally just flexed on you about how fucking rich she is and how powerful she is, and you just are like, I'm just like you. Annalise's biggest problem in life is that she needs to marry a dude that she doesn't love, and Erica's problem is poverty. Uh, yeah, and like her parents like took a lot of money to raise her, and then they up and died. And she is working for some dragon lady, seamstress person, and has to pay the lady back in labor. She is an actual modern slave, slave yeah. Right? And Annalise is just kind of like, oh my god, arranged marriage, no. Kids, their minds just drift. It's really weird to give a message, like like a complex message, like this this. Princess and the Papa shit that we were talking about, right? Like the class discrimination shit. How the fuck are you going to tell that to kids? Their minds, these bitches, like their minds just drift here and there. The only way you can do it is by giving them extreme visual stimulation. And I don't know how you're going to do, like, show that, like, such a complex topic. Visually, like, it's difficult to do that for adults too, but it's even worse for, like, kids. Holy fuck, this deserves some context because we really got sidetracked while recording this one and we went into multiple different tangents. I don't know what happened in the middle, but there was a lot of just random footage and we just didn't adhere to the script at all. We just kind of like fucked right off in the middle. So I completely forgot to give context for the an entire section of this video. So what you're about to see for the next couple of minutes is a uh, justification as to why uh, the messaging in Barbie is so fucked. In this, this part we're talking about the side characters being way more interesting than the fucking uh, main characters so all of the messaging gets muddled up because no one's really paying attention to the main character even though the main character is where the entire like moral of the story comes from so yeah this is just context i'm just trying to provide you context with this because we went way the fuck off track so yeah like, back to it. remember how fucking trash the barbie like fucking barbie diaries looks it's just those words. Can I count on you? Come in, Blood Gulch Outpost Alpha. Barbie Diaries was trying to be all like punk, okay, and with all these like doodles and emo, emo, like in double. Yeah. Like it was trying to be all emo with the art style and the way things were like represented in the colors and stuff like that. And it was just so lame. I yeah, like. The only time they put it off was with Kevin, and that movie he made out of like paper clips. He made a movie. Oh, yeah, that was weird as fuck. Yeah. At that time, it's weird, but now you think of it so cool. Okay. Barbie wasn't even the fucking main character of our movie okay she thought she was okay <laughs> there's like 300 cooler characters right there okay Kevin was always doing some weird shit and it was like amazing and that movie at the end was just one of the amazing things that he'd done barbie did not deserve kevin that man is a gem okay like, he's so, such such a gem like of course he's like the ken of that movie so he doesn't really count that much as a side character but he is kind of because he kind of shows up for like what like 20 minutes of screen time or 30 minutes of screen time? Well, to be fair, the movie's only 90 minutes. So 20 minutes of screen time is not that bad. Yeah, it's not bad, but it's still side character. See, it's about like a group of three girls, right? But, 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 but here's the thing, right? Those other characters barely, like, I can't even remember the... So there's Barbie, and then there's the drummer chick, I think her name is, um, Courtney. And then there's the, there's the, the, the... Tia! Her name's Tia. And she was the token color, person of color in the group. And yeah, she was trying to run for like student body president or something. Yeah, that was a whole bit for the movie. Like, and at the beginning of the movie, they're like, "Oh my god, friends forever!" And then they are still friends at the end of it. But like, in the middle, like, what happened? Like, they just like, like, got like disconnected or something because of some bullshit she did. Because like, it's like Mean Girls, but like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. it's Mean Girls, but Barbie. Yeah, exactly. And I think that movie came out after Mean Girls, so it doesn't even count as like an original idea. Yeah, I mean, none of the Barbie movies are particularly original or I anything. Think a lot of them are modeled after classics. Yeah, like Nutcracker and stuff, but they do put some interesting spin. That's a lie. Hey. Like what? What interesting spin have do you remember from Barbie? <laughs> Oh yes, the G, the greatest the, character of all time. The motherfucking <laughs> legend. The cat. The, the when he goes into like the, the the fucking opera shit. Oh my god! Oh my god! So for some context. 
people ate some like magical berry yeah, yeah. and then he went in a fucking berry white like voice or something like uh-huh. <laughs> and don't think i forgot about you baby <laughs> And so to, to clarify, Bibble has a voice that's like <laughs> If there's one thing you take away from Barbie, it is fucking Bibble. Oh, do go talk about Barbie fashion. Barbie fashion. Yes, Rapunzel. I don't remember Rapunzel. <laughs> See, what kind of Barbie watcher are you? You haven't watched Barbie Rapunzel. Barbie what? Rapunzel is like top tier Barbie. Like, okay, so there's a dragon named Penelope. Okay, her dad is like Gothel's um like slave or whatever, right? And he's bound to Goth. Penelope's dad, I can't remember his name, but he's also an angry purple dragon. And um <laughs> sorry. I just thought of an angry purple dragon and for some reason Barney came and he was like <laughs> Barney is a dinosaur. This is this is a lot of imagination in like the span of like three seconds for your laughter. Like, how the fuck did you come up with Barney? Okay, who I don't even remember was a dinosaur to what? begin with. Wait, how can you not remember Barney is a dinosaur from our imagination? Yes, but also I was also a kid, so uh, so I don't remember the lyrics. I, as far as I'm concerned, the song goes. So anyway, back to I digress. Back to um the thing where this whole thing is that there's the classic bar- Rapunzel story, and Barbie is Rapunzel, and she's following this like path. But they've introduced a bunch of random characters in there, like both of those purple dragons. And Penelope has like this character arc. She has to defy her father, who's so worried because. He's a slave to Gothel, and if like Penelope messes up, eh, he gets like like tortured. Okay, like she like sparks him in the back and like burns him and like brands him and stuff. Like she tortures him, and he's just worried that the same thing's gonna happen to Penelope. And Penelope can't fly yet, so the character arc there is like she's defying her father to be able to help her friend. And then in the end, Rapunzel was only able to like be free because Penelope like. You know, sort of put aside her inhibitions and decided to fucking fly. Can I just point out that Penelope is like a like a kid, okay? She must be like twelve or thirteen as far as like like a uh, human age versus dragon age goes. Like she was a she was a kid, like she wasn't even a teenager or anything. She was like a preteen, a kid who was making these like life altering decisions to help her friend, who's a grown ass woman. Whatever. Sorry, I digress. But the animation fucking sucks. So if so much shit about Barbie sucks, then why did I say it's amazing a few minutes ago? Well, I love it because it sucks. I don't know if the mic picked that up. I really wish it did. <laughs> the absolutely horrible dialogue, the anime ass voice acting, make for the funniest shit ever. Like the banter that went around while we were watching these movies was so funny and so much fun because we'd meme the absolute fuck out of these movies. I have so many great memories because of this one franchise and so many stories to tell because of it. Also, Bibble. This would have been better as a tier list video now that I think about it. <laughs> that would involve me watching all of them, which yeah. is a bit. <laughs> guys, guys, if you want a Barbie tier list video, no. like this video. No, no. Just like leave comments, just like spam it. No. It if you write the same comment 10 times, just do it. Okay, we need to have a Barbie tier list video. No. I don't see enough men reviewing Barbie movies seriously online, okay? Shush. I'm gonna leave for just a second. Don't go anywhere. What are you doing? Nothing.